Hello and welcome to DoItYourselfShammyCream.com. Look what came in the mail today. You should get something like this. And it's your package to make your chamois cream. It's an all natural premium chamois cream and I'm going to show you what you get in your box. The contents of your kit when it gets to you will be four jars one baggie that goes into the water mix, three, three of them that go into the oil mix, and last but not least, your oil. All your oils that we have here have been pre-mixed, so you don't, there's nothing to do. All you need to remember, this is the important part, is if it says add to oil, you put it in the oil. If it says add to water, you add it to the water, which we'll get in a second. We don't send, no, we don't send that in the kit. That you have to supply yourself. Okay, now this is your kit. That's all you need to make your cream. And in 20 minutes, you're gonna be ready, well, maybe give it a few minutes to cool down, but you'll be ready to ride your bike. Hello, and welcome back. Now you see what you get in your kit. Now I'm gonna show you what you need to make the cream. And it's really simple. You should have these things around your house. And if you don't have these things around your house, a couple bucks at the dollar store, tops. You need two pots, something like this. Small, big, bigger, it doesn't matter, as long as you can put water in it. You need to be able to fill them up halfway up. And I'm using a couple measuring cups, but again, you can use other types of cups that'll fit inside. So we basically have like an, a boiler. They'll sit in there. We're going to have them on our stove. We're going to have them on our stove. And when it's all done, ready to go, you're going to need a whisk to whisk it, or a fork, probably do, and your favorite whisking bowl. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the stove fired up. I've got it turned on, so it's starting to heat up. I've taken my two pots, and I filled them with man, an inch or two of water, just enough so that when I put my measuring cup in, or whatever device you're putting in, it's about halfway up this cup here. So I'm going to put them on my stove. Now be careful because this does get hot. And don't ever leave the stove when we're doing this. And pay attention. It's really important. So, this one here. The cup that I'm going to use the water in, I add six ounces of distilled water. Now you can use tap water if you want, but I prefer to use distilled because there's nothing in it. If you want, you can boil some water, kill everything in it, you know that's good. Uh, if you got bottled water, maybe boil that too. But I prefer to use distilled water. Again, six ounces. That's going to go into one of my cups. It's about, I've got it covered. The other one, you're going to take your oil, give it a little shake, open the lid. When it stops doing that, get all the oils out because they're really good. Mmm, smells good. You put that in there. Make sure your oil is covered with water along the side. What you want to do is you want to bring the water to a boil, but not a hard boil, just so it's softly boiling on the side and heating your oil. Now when it goes to a boil, I'm going to have you set a timer. We don't need the jars yet, so we're going to move those aside here. We're going to need our spoons for stirring. You can keep this beautiful vessel and use it for anything you'd like later. Just clean it out. Now, what we have, and this is the important part. You'll see a little yellow. Yellow means oil. Yellow says add to oil. Yellow, add to oil. Blue, add to water. So I'm going to put this over by the water. Actually, let's add that one first. That way it's out of the way. We can't mess that up. So all you do is you take your little baggie and you pour the one that says add to water into the water. That's it. You're done with the water. The water is ready to go. Now the beeswax can come in two forms. We have two different forms. We have the bar or the pastels which are little dots of beeswax. Doesn't matter which one you get. Whichever one it is, you take it, just put it straight into the oil. If you want to save the baggie for lunch, that's fine. It's all natural products here. That's beeswax. The next package you take, you just take it and pour it into your oil. The last 
one we have here, you add it to your oil. Get it all in here. Now that you have all your baggies in here, what we do, you take two spoons, not one, but two or two forks or a set of chopsticks. I like to use those two if I have them after a good Chinese dinner. And the reason you want two is because you don't want to cross them over. So you have one for your water, steer in your, your product. You have one for the oil to steer in the oil. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep steering, stirring, whatever, because it's going to be a little bit lumpy looking because it's not heated yet. And as this heats up, it'll start to blend together. Now, what we want to do is it's going to be a few more minutes while it boils. So, now you've got all your ingredients in, and now comes the fun part. You're going to stir it every so often to make sure that it's all steered up. Now that you have everything in here, as soon as you start, you hear that now? You hear it's starting to boil. So what I've done is I've set my timer now for 20 minutes. Because when it starts to boil, I want to heat the oils and I want to heat the water for 20 minutes. That gets it up to the temperature I need, gets it all mixed in, it starts to blend nicely. So you got to stir. See the, the wrist technique? Just like swimming in triathlon. If you're a triathlete, you're going to use this. Very technical. So what I'm going to do is every 30 to 40 seconds, I'm going to come back and just give it a steer. And in the interim, I can just be hanging out. Alright, now the one thing you're going to notice, we're about uh, 70 minutes in. Got a good boil going here. I'm going to slightly bring it back because it's probably boiling a touch more than I like. But what you're going to notice is you're going to start to see, you're going to start to see how the, the uh, ingredients are dissolved in here. Your beeswax is melting. So this is going to be slightly opaque, which is perfect. That's what you're looking for. The other mixture, what you're going to find is it's going to go completely clear. Don't drink it. Okay, that's for your shampoo. So we'll leave that, and again, all you do every few minutes, you stir, and in the meantime, Okay, we're down to the last 30 or so seconds here. And what we have is our beeswax is all gone. It's, it's beautifully infused in. We've got uh, our water heated up here. Basically, if you want to monitor this with a thermometer, if you happen to have some you can do that with, I like to run it about 165, 170 degrees for, you know, you, by the time you're done, about 10, 15 minutes at that temperature. That way everything's all nice and mixed up and you're good to Ah, the sound of doneness. So now what we do is I'm just going to sneak around. Turn off my stove. I like to remove it from the heat so it's not boiling anymore so that way it doesn't splash on my what hands. What we do now is you take out your mixture. And use something to hold on to these handles because they are going to be hot by now. And what you see is you have your clear solution, which is your water, and then you have your sweet almond oil. 
you have your all natural beeswax and all the ingredients in here, all natural, that's the beauty of this, this setup. So you want to stir your oil really good because sometimes the beeswax might be sitting on the bottom. So you give it a good stir. You set up the stir cam to show you what's going to happen. Now this is one of the coolest parts of making this cream actually. What I do is I'll take the oil, stir it, put it into the bowl, make sure everything is good. See, now we got it all out of there. Place it off. Now if you see here, if you see this here, you're going to see it on this camera, but I'm talking to you over here. You're going to have your solution, your oil, and your beeswax, and all the other ingredients. Now I add my, my water solution. Did you see what happened there? I don't know if you can see it over there. It turned white. It is so cool. It happens. And then all you do is you start whisking. And that starts to mix the two ingredients together really, really well. And I like to whisk it, you know, I just keep going for five, six minutes. Look at the creamy texture of that there. I wish you could smell this. One of the ingredients in here is tea tree oil, and it's got a wonderful smell. We've got lavender oil in here. Ah, oh, all of these have a purpose in this mixture. It is got a beautiful silky feel on your skin. Yet it's all natural. The beeswax, you can, if you're a triathlete, and you go swimming and you go biking or running. You know, you can, I've done, you know, the half Ironman distances, and when you're done, you still got to shower this stuff off. It's fantastic. It's really a superb anti-chafing cream, and it's a superb chamois cream, and I rub it on my, my nipples, but don't tell anyone. That way when I run, it doesn't hurt. Now, if you look in the stir cam here, you see, look how nice and fluffy I've got it. It's a beautiful, beautiful cream. It's still a little bit, let me just test it. <laughs> It's a little bit warm, but what you're going to notice is look at that beautiful consistency you get on there. So I'm going to, I'm going to stir for a few more minutes. I'm going to rub it in here. Oh, the sloppiness. I'm going to stir for another couple minutes. So if you want to whisk this, like I said, two, three, four, five minutes, you know, whatever you want. If you want to work out a little more, it doesn't really matter. Keep whisking. I just like to give it a good stir. If you have a power mixer, I guess you could do that. I've always sort of been into the workout factor on this part here myself. You can hit it with the mixer. Just don't beat the daylights out of it. And then basically what I'll do before I put it in the jars, I let it sit for about half an hour so it's just lukewarm and then it's still got some nice viscosity to it. You can take it, put it in your jars and then over the next day or so you'll find that it's going to firm up even more. Uh, it takes a few days to get to, to, the, to its uh, set firmness but um, that's it. When you're ready you take your jar and you fill them up and I'll be doing that in a minute. Alright, now we've let it cool down for about an hour. And what you're gonna do, just get rid of your whisk, you're done with that. Not a problem. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the four jars. And that's the beauty of this kit, because you guys know how much money you've put into chamois cream. And personally, I think it's one of the most important parts of my bike. Uh, I'm not a big fan of riding ever without it, because it's amazing. So, you take four jars, which you normally pay a lot of money for, this is do-it-yourself, 100% all, all natural chamois cream, sweet almond oil base, lavender oil, tea tree oil, beeswax, and a couple other products to help thicken it up, give it some sheerness. They're all natural. There is no preservatives, 100% paraben free. Let's put it in our little thing, our jars. We take it, I just use a spoon for that. So what I do is I spread the mixture evenly around the four jars.
Anything on the sides, I just take off a little bit. And that's it. Put the cap on. Now what you have, when you are done, you have four jars of premium chamois cream. Use it till your heart's content and right away. Thank you for your time. Do-it-yourself-shamacream.com. We'll see you soon.